Hi, good morning, students. I am Vaishakhi Shah from LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. Now, in last lecture, we studied flow through pipes and head loss due to sudden expansion and contraction. Now, in this lecture, we are going to study head loss due to some other reasons. So, here our first is head loss at the entrance of the pipe. In a pipe, when the fluid enters in a pipe, there is some amount of head loss and it is indicated as HI, head loss due to entrance of the pipe HI equals 2 and the equation for head loss at entrance is 0.5 V square by 2 G and where V is the velocity of liquid which is flowing in the pipe. You have to remember this equation for solving example that head loss as entrance in the pipe is 0.5 V square by 2 G. Now another, another equation here is head loss at exit of the pipe. When fluid enters there is a head loss at entry. When fluid passing there is a head loss due to friction and now when fluid exit from the pipe, when fluid exits from the pipe, there is also head loss which is called head loss at a exit of the pipe and the exit head loss is indicated as HO, outlet, outlet head loss which equation HO equals to V square upon 2G. So, head loss at entry is 0.5 V square by 2G and head loss at exit is v2 square by 2g. Again in both the equations v is a velocity of liquid flowing in the pipe. Now, now here in entrance the velocity at enter and uh, in the equation of head loss at exit velocity of liquid at outlet of the pipe. Okay? So now here there is another loss head loss due to some fittings or bands or some valves in the pipe. So, as you can see in this image here, there are so many number of joints we provided in the pipe, in a pipe line. So, due to this fittings, there is also head loss occurs due to fittings of these valves, bands and etc. So, there are also head loss due to fittings, but this head loss is very minor. We are considering as a minor head loss because amount of head loss is very less here. Okay? So now, our next theory is flow through the pipes which are in series. If two or more pipe of different diameters are connected from to make a single pipe, if you are connecting number of uh, pipes having different diameter, different length and it makes a single pipe, then it is called flow through the pipe in series. Now, the pipe diameter of the pipe may be different, the length of the pipe may be different. As you can see in this diagram that we are considering two containers, both are at different level. As you can see that container number 1 reservoir number 1 and reservoir number 2 both are at different levels and both the reservoirs are connected with a pipeline. Now, there are three different pipes. As you can see that there are three different pipes of different length and different diameter and we attach, we make a single pipe from three different pipe to connecting to reservoir, reservoir number 1 and reservoir number 2. Okay? Now, from this diagram, now pipe 1, diameter of first pipe is D1 and length of pipe 1 is L1. Diameter of second pipe is D2 and length of pipe 2 is L2. Diameter of third pipe is L3, D3 sorry and length of the third pipe is L3. So, here two reservoirs are connected with different pipes of different lengths and different diameter. The height, the head, difference of head between two reservoirs is H. As you can see that H is a difference of water level between two reservoirs which is H. Okay? Now, here discharge through all the pipe is same. 
when you are connecting pipes in series, discharge through all the pipes are same. So, for this uh, connection, Q equals to Q1 equals to Q2 equals to Q3 because discharge from all three pipe is equal. Now, if we have to find out head loss for this uh, pipe in series, then head loss is a total head loss due to some exit, entry, individual pipe fitting, major and minor energy losses. As we can find out total head loss H equals to HF1 plus HF2 plus HF3 and minor losses. So, from this diagram, firstly, what are the losses here? We studied all the minor losses and major losses. As you can see that the pipe is connected in series. Then, what are the losses occurred here? Okay. First, in pipe number 1, the fluid enters. At that time, first loss is head loss due to entrance. Clear? When a, pipe, when a fluid enters in a pipe, then your first head loss occur, which is head loss at entrance. Now, the fluid is flowing in a pipe. Fluid is flowing in a pipe. Then, on the surface of the pipe, the friction occur. So, second head loss in pipe number 1. Remember that here we are discussing pipe number 1 only. Okay. So, first in pipe number 1, first is head loss at a entrance. Now, fluid going, fluid running. Then, second is head loss due to friction. Now, from pipe number 1 to pipe number 2. As you can see the diameter of pipe increases or decreases? Yes, diameter of pipe is decreases. So, that is a from pipe 1 to pipe 2, there is another head loss which is head loss due to sudden contraction because here diameter of the pipe is decreases. So, there is a head loss due to sudden contraction. So, at the entry of pipe 2, there is a head loss due to sudden contraction. Now, fluid again enter in pipe 2. In a pipe 2, there is a head loss due to friction. When fluid is flowing in pipe 2, the another head loss is head loss due to friction. Now, fluid again enters in pipe 3. The diameter of pipe increases. So, there is sudden expansion from pipe 2 to pipe 3. The diameter of a pipe is suddenly increases. So, at the entrance of pipe 3, there is sudden expansion. Okay. So, diameter of pipe 3 is D3 and length is D3. And at the entrance of pipe 3, there is a head loss due to sudden expansion. Clear? Again, fluid enter into pipe 3 and there is a head loss due to friction in pipe number 3. Now, from exit of pipe 3, the pipe is connected to reservoir. So, at the exit of pipe 3, when fluid exit from the pipe, there is a head loss due to exit. Head loss due to exit. So, these are the head losses occurs in this total pipe in series. So, as you can see that first in a pipe number 1, when fluid enters, there is a head loss due to entrance. The equation of head loss due to entry which is 0.5 V1 square by 2G. Now, the fluid enters into the pipe number 1. So, there is a friction loss and which is indicated by Darcy base batch equation which is 4 F1 L1 V1 square upon 2 G D1. F1 that is a coefficient of friction L1 length, V1 is a velocity and D1 is a diameter. Okay. Now, from pipe number 1, the fluid again enters into pipe 2 and there is sudden contraction. The equation for sudden contraction is 0.5 V2 square by 2G. After that, in a pipe number 2, there is a friction losses. So, Darcy waste batch equation is 4 F2 L2 V2 square by 2G D2. Okay. Now, from pipe 2, the fluid enters into pipe 3, where there is a sudden expansion. So, head loss due to sudden expansion, this all equation we derived in our earlier lectures. 
So, head loss due to sudden expansion is V2 minus V3 square divided by 2G. And again in pipe number 3, there is friction losses. There are some friction losses which is 4 F3 L3 V3 divided by 2 G D3. Clear? And at last, when fluid exit from the pipe, then the head loss due to exit is V3 square by 2 G. So, this is an equation for total head loss in a pipe in series. Now, in this equation, as you can see that these are the losses which occur, entrance in pipe, exit, entrance due to friction, entrance, exit, these are the losses which we indicate here, here by this arrows. Now, in this, in this equation, there are so many losses which are minor and major energy losses, okay. Here, head loss due to entry, head loss due to uh, expansion, head loss due to contraction and head loss due to exit. This losses are, we, this losses we consider as a minor energy losses, minor energy losses and if we neglect minor energy losses, then your equation become H equals to 4 F1 L1 V1 square by 2 G D1 plus 4 F2 L2 V2 square by 2 G D2 plus 4 F3 L3 V3 upon 2 G D3. Okay, and if we replace 4F equals to F, which is called friction factor, then your final equation is this, H equals to 4F1 L1 V1 square by 2G D1 plus 4F2 L2 V2 square by 2G D2 plus 4F3 L3 V3 upon 2G D3. Okay, so this is the, okay, here in this equation, there is a V3 square. Okay, so now, this, this was the theory for pipe in series. Now, another uh, theory is flow through pipe which is in parallel. Now, the purpose of the parallel pipe is to increase the discharge of the fluid. As per this figure, as you can see in this diagram, there are two different pipes which are connected in parallel. The two pipes are connected parallel here. The discharge, main discharge which is Q and discharge is divided into two pipes q1 and q2 q1 and q2 length of pipe 1 is l1 length of pipe 2 is l2 diameter of pipe 1 is d1 diameter of pipe 2 is d2 okay these pipes are connected in parallel so for parallel pipe here total discharge q equals to q1 plus q2 plus q3 okay so total head loss is same for all the branches HF1 equals to HF2 equals to HF3. As per this figure, Q equals to Q1 plus Q2 and as we know that head loss in both the pipe is same. So, HF1 equals to HF2. Now, here HF that is head loss due to friction and we know the equation for head loss due to friction which is 4 F1 L1 V square divided by 2 G D1 and same equation for pipe number 2 which is 4 F2 L2 V2 square divided by 2 G D2. So, here HF1 equals to HF2 head loss is same in both the pipes and we are applying Darcy's waste batch equation here. If F1 equals to F2 if friction vector is same for both the pipe then your equation become L1 V1 square upon D1 equals to L2 V2 square upon D2. This equation is for pipe in parallel. Okay. So, in today's session we discussed when the pipe are placed parallel and the, uh, uh, the discharge or the head loss when the pipes are placed parallel and the pipes are placed in series. Now, in uh, next session, we will discuss examples based on this theory. Thank you.